All right, um, got, again, something a little different for you today. I uh, picked this up at a, a shop down in Manistee, uh, Michigan, that is. Um, it's an old thimble. I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, I said it's alpaca, al alpaca silver. So I'm not too familiar with that. So I don't think it's real silver. I think it says like some kind of nickel, like hybrid. But it's kind of cool. The lady said it uh, dates to the Victorian period. I'm not positive on that. I mean, it could very well. I do not know. Um, I was thinking maybe a bit later, like uh, early 1900s. But I thought it was kind of cool. You can see it's got some nice, like, uh, detailed flowers on it. And it's got a uranium glass little top or insert. Which those little holes are like, uh, like again, like the little needly holes in there. And it's in really good shape. Um, it is, like I said, we did do it under the black light, so this is uranium glass. I probably should have grabbed a black light to show you guys, but let me think about it. Yeah, cool little thimble. Like I said, I couldn't find a maker's mark. All, only marks say, like, alpaca silver on it, and that's it. So I know, like, uh, I think Germany was big on these, and uh, I've seen a lot from, like, Mexico and a few other areas, but I do not know where this one was built, exactly when it was built, or anything else. Now, like I said, the lady I bought it from said it was a uh, Victorian age, which it could be. Like I said, I do not know, and I collect Victorian. Victorian's one of my favorite time periods. So, anyway, as I said, it was pretty reasonably priced. I think it was like 25 bucks. So, I mean, I don't know. It's, uh, if it's worth it or not, maybe more, maybe less, but I like it, and uh, I, I really haven't seen many like the uranium glass insert, which I thought was cool, because I also collect uranium glass. That's really why I got it. So, Victorian and uranium glass. But yeah, so, uh, I can't really see anything inside. But yeah, so like I said, that's it. It's just a little thimble. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't really think it'll work on my fat fingers, but I thought it was pretty nifty. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, supposed Victorian era uranium glass thimble. Thought it was kind of cool. So, that's it. Thanks.